at your face. I've been staring at your face like. I've been staring at your face like. How I get so lucky, child. Band is your waistline. How I get so lucky. Call me on your break time. How I get so lucky. Hit me on the FaceTime. Tell me that you love me. Hit me on the FaceTime. We can lovey dovey. No comparison. Okay, so I just recorded a video on some hair that I got off of Amazon.com and I want to tell you guys about another good Amazon hair company, which is actually an AliExpress hair company. So I'm just thinking all of the AliExpress hair companies are like going over to Amazon.com just trying to get their hair out there, which is cool, which is cool, which, you know, it really benefits me as a consumer because now I can get my hair twice as fast. With VIP Beauty Hair, even when they were on AliExpress, you know, I never had a real issue with them when it, when it came down to ordering my hair, getting my hair on time, and things of that sort. It's just with AliExpress, when you make your payment through their, um, their payment system, you have to wait 24 hours for them to authorize the payment, make sure that it's good and everything before they even put the order out. So, you know, I nip that in the bud with ordering through Amazon. This is VIP Beauty's Brazilian Water Wave Hair, and Water Wave Hair is by far my favorite pattern ever. It's very simple for me to take care of the hair, and I just love the wave pattern, the curl pattern. It's just beautiful. This is four bundles of 26 inch hair along with a 18 inch lace frontal. Now with the frontal, I cut it into a closure. So the frontal only goes from right here to right here. I have trouble when it comes down to constructing my lace frontal units with the ear tabs here. I got the idea to cut my lace closure from a lady here on YouTube. Her name is Renee304. I follow her on Instagram. She has a wig company, a wig making company called Honey Please, and she always talks about how she cuts lace frontals into lace closures. And I'm like, well, how do you do that? I went onto Peak Mill YouTube channel and I noticed that she did a lace frontal unit where she cut the lace frontal and only had about this much left. I went ahead and I did that, and y'all, this is how I'm doing my lace frontal units because Personally, for me, I don't really care about the size as much as I care about the top when it comes down to my lace frontals, like how the baby hairs lay and things of that sort. That's what I'm worried about. As far as, you know, being able to pull it behind my ear, I can still do that, just have my hair left out because I have edges. I'm good. I just prefer this way of making my lace frontal units because this is, this is what matters to me. This part is what matters to me. And being able to part it anywhere that I want to. On the side, in the middle I can part it, down the middle, on the other side. Or I can throw it up in a cute little thingy. For as long as I've either worked with VIP Beauty Hair or ordered hair from them, I haven't had any issues with their hair. This is, this is the hair. After a month. This is it. Freshly cold washed, I let it air dry, and this is the hair. One thing I can say, it does shed. It does shed, mm, not a lot, a lot, but it sheds pretty much any time I feel like I want to run my fingers through the hair. I just get a few strands here and there, which is not uncommon um, when it comes down to curly or wavy hair. It's going to happen. It's inevitable. Um, there was no chemical smell whatsoever with this hair at all. That is pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video very, very helpful. If you have any further questions or anything, please be sure to leave a comment down below this video. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.